Well arrived, my dear lab experiments. Today is Thursday, and alongside a few of the other news reported by Blizzard for patch 10.1, we also have the tuning, the class and spec tuning for the tier sets of patch 10.1. There have been quite a few specs being adjusted in terms of their tier sets. So we're going to go over and check exactly what have all these uh, these changes been about, whether or not it's, it's an improvement on their tier sets or if it's been made even worse than, than what it was before. So let's uh, quickly move on to start with Death Knight. Death Knight did not get the blood Death Knight tier set changed. The tier set of blood was already fine enough. They do have some positive, both of them, both positive changes for Frost and for Unholy Death Knight, particularly in how you manage to use, now you manage to activate the tier set because previously the tier set of Frost, for example, was activating automatically. After you consumed 15 Rhyme procs, you were going to get the automatic cast of Frostworm's Fury. So that was the, the worry that players had, the ninja pulling on this Frostworm's Fury proccing, and for example in Mythic Plus uh, proccing and pulling multiple other packs, for example. Instead, Blizzard has now modified the way the, the tier set works. So previously, your Rhyme-empowered Howling Blast were reducing the cooldown of Frostworm's Fury by two seconds, and then after consuming 15 Rhymes, you were proccing a Frostworm's Fury for 100% of the original Frostworm's Fury damage. Now, instead, consuming Rhyme increases the damage of your next Frostworm's Fury by 5%, stacking up 10 times, so it can go all the way up to 50% more damage, and Pillar of Frost is going to call a Frostworm's Fury at 40% effectiveness. And the four-piece set bonus is that now Frostworm's Fury causes enemies hit to take 25% increased damage from your crits. So this one has been made a positive change because now you have control over when you proc Frostworm's Fury. Before it was just after 15 Rhyme procs and then it would just pop it off by itself. Now you have control. Now you have it attached to your Pillar of Frost, to one of your other cooldowns. The same can be said for Unholy. Unholy previously were going to proc as soon as you gained 20 stacks of Master of Death. That's it. You have to wait to get 20 stacks. Now it has been made much more fluid to use. Rather than having to proc very late into your pool, into your burst damage, now you have one very, very good quality of life addition for Unholy, which is that Army of the Dead is now going to grant you instantly 20 stacks of Master of Death. That's the first thing. So that now on pool, you can guarantee to have max stacks. So you can have your proc of, of the stacks right when you're using all of your cooldowns, your potion, your bloodlust, etc, etc. And then the two-piece also has the similar treatment to what Frost received. Once you got 20 stacks, it's not going to proc automatically anymore, it's going to proc once you use Dark Transformation. So again, it's going to tie this proc to another one of your cooldowns. So you can decide, you can choose when to benefit from this, this proc yourself, rather than having it go off whenever you reach a certain amount of stacks. So both of the changes for the two specs are very good in terms of quality of life, in, in terms of being able to use it properly at the right uh, moments. For Demon Hunter though, we only have a slight change for Havoc and it is only just slightly in numbers, so the way the actual tier set works basically has remained the same without many changes whatsoever. For Druid, we have no changes to Guardian and their tier set was mediocre, okay-ish, nothing really too exciting. Same goes for Feral. We have some more changes to Balance, but those are changes planned for their mini rework, so we are not going to stay to to talk about it too much because we have to, we would have to see their actual rework to see how much these changes are impacting the actual the actual spec and same goes for their tier set their tier set is only being changed slightly 
in terms of numbers, so nothing too exciting. What was more interesting is to see if the abominable, if the greatly overtuned tier set of Restoration Druid was going to be changed, and by changed I mean nerfed. The answer is yes, the answer is yes, Restoration Druid gets the tier set nerfed, but very, very slightly. Nothing close to what you would have expected the nerf to be. So, the first part, the two-piece, gets you to have only 12% increased healing from Riju and Life Bloom instead of 15%, which is still a lot. And then the regrowth, healing over time, goes from 75 to 50% more, which is still a lot. The four-piece set bonus, the one that is even stronger than the two-piece. Now it's gonna increase the healing uh, rate over time of your, of your heals by 30% instead of 40%. Again, that is still very, very powerful. So, yes, the Vesta Druid tier set gets nerfed. Uh, no, it is still the strongest of the healer tier sets by quite a bit. After Druid, down the alphabet of classes, there should be the letter E. And there is no letter E because there are no changes to Evoker. Even if we go further down to the alphabet, we also have no stops at the letter H because there are no changes to the Hunter tier sets, we have to take a brief stop at the letter M, finally, for Mage. So Mage, of the three available tier sets to change, only one gets adjusted and it's the one to Arcane. So previously the four piece of Arcane was the one that was quite interesting but possibly annoying to use, now the change to this effect is that for every 24,000 mana spent during Arcane Surge, so slightly more mana than before, your spell damage is still increased by 1% for 12 seconds after Arcane Surge fades, so this is still the exact same. Mana regen though is increased by 50% for this time. So you basically gain more or less the same damage, the same stacking damage based on less mana though, because now it's 24,000 mana instead of 20,000 mana. So it's likely you will gain less damage overall, but you will also gain much more mana back compared to before after the, this, this extra buff given to Arcane, which is overall a net gain, still not huge compared to before, but it's better than, than the previous state of the Arcane tier set. We still don't move away though from the letter M because there is Monk also. Mistweaver and Windwalker both get some changes. The one to Mistweaver actually is one of the very few nerfs, together with the one we checked for for Restoration Druid, because the mana regen given by the uh, two-piece of Mistweaver goes from 5% of your mana back over 5 seconds to 3% of your mana back over 3 seconds. So it's just slightly less mana regen given to Mistweaver Monk. The more interesting change is the one to Windwalker, which is also a net buff, because the two-piece of Windwalker, which previously uh, felt and seemed initially very interesting, but it was actually very terrible uh, for Windwalker, was that Rising Sun Kick now deals increased damage, okay, that's fine, and has a chance to go Nova, dealing fire damage to all enemies within 8 yards. The reason why this was terrible, it was because it was only a chance and you normally don't use Rising Sun Kick in AoE. So you were put in a situation where you were doing your AoE rotation, ignoring Rising Sun Kick, and if you wanted to benefit from this tier set, you would have to believe in the chance that using this single target ability could have procced this AoE extra effect. And if it didn't proc, you were effectively using a single target ability while fighting eight enemies and losing a lot of damage. So Blizzard is changing the effect. Now Rising Sun Kick is still doing extra damage, but now it's guaranteed. Now it's guaranteed to go Nova, doing Shadow Flame damage to all enemies within eight yards. So now it's no longer a random chance, now it's guaranteed. So now you can implement, you can introduce, you can add, Rising Sun Kick to your AoE rotation because it's also guaranteed to do AoE damage as well. So overall, also a net improvement. Now, over to Paladin. The first uh, sad news is that we have no changes to Holy Paladin tier set, which was one of the worst ones, especially for healers, yet 
there is nothing available for now we have some changes to the protection one the one to the four piece set bonus now judgment critical strikes are going to apply hurt fire and can trigger grand crusader previously the four piece of protection paladin was that judgment critical strike can trigger grand crusader so we have the extra slightly extra addition to apply the hurt fire as well this is slightly better for single target damage which is something that prot paladin is weaker at compared to their aoe damage so now also the single target ability can apply the damage dot over time on the enemy so slight improvement to the single target damage of protection paladin then we have the changes to the red paladin uh, tier set bonus the change to red is basically to give a part of your four piece back to your two piece and add a new thing to your four piece because the four piece part of hammer of wrath now applies judgment to enemies is given to your two piece so now your two piece is hammer of wrath and uh, and judgment deal increased damage and then you, they also have increased critical strike damage and then now they also have hammer of wrath applying judgment to enemies the four piece gets an addition on top of having judgment increasing the damage your enemies take from uh, your holy power spenders now also armor of wrath now hits four nearby enemies for 20 percent of its damage so they're, they're giving splash damage to hammer of wrath that's the extra change the four piece of red paladin uh, is gonna get and of course it's a flat buff you're not actually losing anything else you're simply being given this bit as an extra for red paladin so just a, a buff basically to the tier of, of red then we have a few of the completely reworked ones not really much to to have in common with the previous version discipline priest <laughs> the two-piece set bonus now has shadow war pain and purge the wicked version uh, doing 25 percent more damage flat and then power war shield absorbing 20 percent additional damage the four piece has every three casts of power war shield causes your next atonement granted by power war shield to last an additional 15 seconds and heal 20 percent more this is interesting it feels like a much more mythic plus based even i would say even pvp based version of a tier set it's not really very powerful at all in raids this has basically very very little value in raid encounters it is much more powerful or at least powerful a little bit in the mythic plus setting but when it comes to wide raid healing this is not particularly good for discipline priest players so not too excited I, I wouldn't be if i were thinking of playing discipline in the raid with this tier set then we have the holy priest changes the two piece is a slight change previously prayer of mending had a 20 percent chance to duplicate when it was jumping around now when you cast prayer of mending there is a 35 percent chance that its effect is duplicated so not when it's jumping at a 20 percent rate but only when you're casting it at a 35 percent rate this overall nets out to be a nerf in the amount of times you can proc it uh, in the in its duplication and the four piece only gets a slight change previously the healing and damage increase of your next holy ward was being increased when prayer of mending jumped around now it's going to be increased when it's going to be jumping around or gets expired by itself so it's only a slight change to the four piece with a nerf to the two piece of the holy priest set bonus there is also the change of course why wouldn't shadow priest get another round of changes the change to the tier sets of shadow priest this is also a complete overhaul from the previous version of the shadow priest change although as mentioned last time there is less to talk about about this changes to shadow priest because shadow priest is receiving a rework in 10.1 so we don't have nearly as much insight and as, as to how powerful this is going to be if we don't have too clear exactly how shadow priest is going to work in 10.1 so we are going to leave this for now as a work in progress in terms of the the changes the the type of changes this tier is is receiving and moving on to the last few tiny changes one is for rogue for assassination this is a slight change from the previous 33 percent increased damage as nature now your rapture does more 40 instead of 33 and your crimson tempest does less 20 percent instead of 33 percent more that was the only change to assassination 
so to the two piece of assassination and there is also a slight change to the outlaw four piece set bonus between the eyes is now granting you five percent agility for 15 seconds when it was seven percent agility so it's also a slight nerf to the outlaw tier set no really other changes to those two specs or no changes at all to the subtlety tier set for rogue there are also no changes to the elemental and enhancement tier sets of of shaman there is also a slight change to the resto shaman tier set and that's a buff now the two piece set bonus is going to have an extra spell power scaling from 140 percent to 175 percent and the four piece set bonus will no longer increase your haste by a pitiful one percent <laughs> Per, per ally healed by the, the two piece proc. Now it's going to increase your healing down by 1% per ally healed. And also it's going to increase the healing of your next healing wave or healing surge or chain heal when previously it was just Riptide. So that's the slight increase in quality of life to the change of the tier set for Restoration Shaman, which is still not a good tier set for Restoration Shaman, but at least now it's less bad. Then for our last two classes, the W classes, we have a change to Destruction, which is still harping on trying to make Channel Demon Fire work in its tree. First of all, Channel Demon Fire's damage is actually buffed by 20% more damage. Also, Shadowburn damage is buffed by 20% more. And then, as for the two-piece and four-piece set bonus, the actual changes to the tier sets, the main change is to the four piece set bonus previously after casting 15 demon fire bolts your next demon fire bolt was going to do some slight extra damage plus some even smaller aoe damage around the target now demon fire bolts increase the fire damage you deal by one percent for 13 seconds for each bolt cast stacking up to eight times so at the very best it's going to be 8% more damage and also gaining a stack does not refresh the duration so it's going to be even lower than 13 seconds for 8% more damage at the very least it's better at the very least it can buff the remaining part of your kit's fire damage compared to what you had before still not a great tier set and still not great that you have to play around channel demon fire if you want to play with this tier set the last of the changes is actually a nerf to the warrior tier set and in this case is to arms. The two piece set bonus, deep wounds, critical strikes have a chance to increase the damage of your next slam by 15%, not 25%. So perhaps even less reasons for you to keep using slam as a warrior, since I know arms warriors hate to use slam, but that's what the tier set wants you to do so we will see if you actually will have to end up playing with slam as an arms warrior but for now these were all of the planned changes for for the upcoming ptr version of patch 10.1 not all of the specs as we have seen have received changes so we will see just how many eventually will end up not being touched as i said i thought specs like holy paladin even specs like guardian druid might have uh, needed some extra touches but for now blizzard thought it was better not to uh, change them so for now we are waiting before we see any more changes so we're going to leave you behind on this thursday with all of these uh tier set fixes from blizzard so for now of course we are thanking all of the patient supporters for the contribution and the help to the growth of the channel you can of course also thank in plenty of other ways like for example liking and commenting down below on this video as well as subscribing to the channel itself you can also support in other ways like for example following me over on twitter or also following me over on my stream on on twitch so outside of these social unpleasantries we can now leave each other Thank you guys, of course, for watching. See you guys uh, likely tomorrow. And in the meantime, in the meantime, I have about three hours of time before I have to finish all of my stuff before going out. I think we are on time, although this video has already dragged on for way too long.